Peter Sillett, the former Chelsea player who died last week, was in stark relief to the fireworks that were to follow. The first rocket from Robert Yarny was tipped away by Ed De Hoy. Gianfranco Zola bent a free kick against the post. But Betis had greater need for a goal, at least two in fact. And Fanini George gave them hope after 21 minutes. But Chelsea and Zola always looked dangerous. He picked out Viali, who also hit the woodwork. But Zola's next cross hit the spot. Frank Sinclair won't get an easier header. LeBerth almost threw that away. He fouled in the box, but a penalty wasn't given. There was obviously a heated discussion in the tunnel at half-time, and before play could restart, the Betis manager, Luis Aragonas, was banned to the stand. But it didn't end there. Spotted among some Betis fans, he was escorted by police even further from the touchline. But Chelsea emerged with a far easier way to settle any argument. Di Matteo muscled his way into the Betis box and then turned on the style to kill the tie. Viali's dream result of 0-0 was turning out to be a lot more exciting. But those at Stamford Bridge had to wait until injury time for another. Even if it was worth the wait.